okay, so I was asked the other day if you can use uh, your mobile phone with a Chromecast, but use the data from your mobile phone. Uh, and there is a way around this, um, but uh, you can't do it where the phone is providing data to the Chromecast and also you're trying to access Netflix or Amazon Prime or iPlayer or whatever you're trying to get from the phone. What you need is another device. So uh, this is a, an Android phone. You can use, uh, I'm using my uh, old iPhone 5S to record the audio for this. That would work as well. You can also use an iPad uh, or uh, a computer with a Chrome browser. So if you've got a Chromebook, uh, a MacBook, uh, or a Windows computer, all of those will work for this method. I now have no Wi-Fi connection here. I've turned off all the Wi-Fi, so all these devices, there's no SIM in this phone, so it hasn't got its own data. So let's plug the Chromecast into the TV. Okay, so you can see my Chromecast uh, can't connect to the Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi is turned off. Uh, so what I need to do is turn on my hotspot, so personal hotspot. Uh, if I turn off and turn on, so my hotspot should be currently on. So on my second device, I need to go to, uh, you need to download the Google Home app, then you need to click on that, uh, and then we need to go to add, set up a device, so new devices, in the home. Would you like to set up Family Room TV? Yes. So it says connected now. Uh, seeing W8D8, we are seeing that on the screen. So we'll say yes. Help improve Chromecast, why not? Choose a location. So let's call it Family Room because that's what it was on before. Connect to a Wi Fi. Yeah, we'll have that Wi Fi network. Remember the password. So you can see now it's connecting the TV. So all the time this is doing it from my iPhone. So that's what's supplying the Wi-Fi network. Uh, and you can see from the top part, uh, it says it's connected. So uh, there's now two devices gonna be connected to my smartphone. So it's gonna be using the data plan on my phone. So obviously make sure you have enough data. I've got 10 gig. Uh, a month which is fine so if I'm staying away somewhere I could take my Chromecast as long as I've got two devices or if I use a friend's device to cast from uh, this is a, a way of doing it so my Chromecast obviously needs an update I don't use my Chromecast because this Sony TV has Chromecast built in uh, I, so I keep it uh, for, for things like this for doing videos and also used to get Chromecast offers used to get free movies and various different things every now and then uh, subscription services for free for a couple of months or so so I keep it for that sort of reason I also have a Chromecast video uh, which shows you how to control your Chromecast with your TV remote control uh, so I'll put a link in the description to that one because that's worth looking at even if you're going to use this method so it says on here finished my Chromecast looks like it's rebooting okay so that's what we want to see that's the uh, background screen for the Chromecast uh, so what we need to do now is uh, I see there's a pin on the screen as well. It's showing the network it's connected to, which is my phone, Lee128, uh, which is an old iPhone 7. Now, if I start the Amazon Prime video app, hopefully it's going to be logged in. This camera isn't like focusing. There we go. Uh, so if I now say I start watching a bit of a program, but I also press the cast icon, family room TV. And you can see that my phone becomes the remote control and the image will start to play on the TV. There you go, so you can see that's playing. So that is playing, and I'll pause that because I don't want a copyright strike, but that is playing on a mobile network. So all you need uh, is two devices, one device to uh, basically supply the Wi-Fi signal uh, which is from a mobile network and then another device to cast from. So any device you can cast from whether that's as I said before a Chromebook, a Windows laptop, uh, and an Android phone, an iPhone, whatever um, and I could use my old iPhone 5S as well. It doesn't need to have a SIM card in it because all it's doing is connecting to Wi-Fi. Um, but uh, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.